The Western Pacific Island nation of Tuvalu, formerly known as the Ellis Islands, is situated 4,000 kilometers northeast of Australia. Tuvalu consists of three reef islands and six atolls, with a population of 12,000 people. The European Union, Government of Tuvalu and other partners are working together to improve access to reliable and environmentally sound energy services to three remote outer islands of Tuvalu. To raise awareness about the benefits that solar power can bring to Pacific Island communities, the Pacific Islands Greenhouse Gas Abatement Through Renewable Energy Project, known as PIGAREP, sent a team to the remote islands of Tuvalu to find out about how 24-hour solar power looks set to change people's lives. One of the first things that the team learned is that providing electricity to islands that are accessible only by boat poses major logistical issues. Currently, these locations are entirely reliant on diesel generators. This reliance comes at a significant economic and environmental cost. The fluctuating price of fuel and the difficulties in transporting essential equipment by sea has meant that energy supply to date has been expensive and unreliable. From an environmental perspective, diesel is far from an ideal energy source. It is non-renewable and generates carbon emissions, which contribute to global climate change and rising sea levels. Diesel is also a potentially devastating pollution hazard to the fragile marine environments on which local communities depend. Three new solar photovoltaic installations on the islands of Nukufetau, Nukulailai and Nui will ensure that for the very first time, electricity will be available 24 hours a day to the communities in these remote locations. Electricity generated by solar power is cheaper and more reliable than diesel-generated electricity. Importantly, it's also environmentally friendly. Well, renewable energy is a key sector for our cooperation. Uh, worldwide but particularly in the Pacific because we are convinced that by providing renewable energy to particularly the outer islands in countries such as Tuvalu we can really make a, a huge difference to, to people's lives. Uh, very often the energy that they have, the electricity, is uh, diesel generated which costs a lot of money uh, which very often is only operational for a few hours a day and um, so by bringing in solar panels, we can uh, provide 24-hour-a-day electricity at a much uh, lower cost. And uh, I know that uh, very often in uh, the outer islands in which we've been working, this has really changed people's lives fundamentally. Children are able to, to study in the evening. Uh, people are able to carry on with their work uh, in the evening as well and uh, they have access to uh, fridges which can be, uh, let's say, run constantly. Uh, that makes a big difference in terms of medical care, vaccines can be stored and so on. So there are a range of real advantages to solar energy uh, which uh, we're making available to, to these populations. And uh, Tuvalu, I think, is a, is a great success story. As you can see over here, the generators are uh, producing a lot of smoke which is affecting these uh, trees here and once this uh, project is completed it will be a clean uh, sustainable way of uh, producing uh, energy. The solar PV system has three main components. The solar panels which harness the sun's energy, the inverters and clusters that convert and distribute this energy and the batteries that store the energy. 102 kilometers north of Funafuti lies the island of Nukufetau, a small island atoll in the vast Pacific Ocean, only accessible by boat and home to about 600 villagers. Currently, the island of Nukufetau is entirely reliant on diesel generators for power. Diesel has to be transported from Funafuti by boat, and with the inconsistent delivery schedules due to the weather, this poses a serious challenge to the people of Nukufetau. So sometimes it takes uh, more than two weeks 
we do not have uh, any power uh, due to the lack of uh, petrol, fuel, and uh, diesel on the island. And during this um, time, uh, all the, the families, they try to take the fish and salt, put them in uh, salt and try to dry them so that because we do not have any power, electric, electricity power to, to sustain them in fridge. With the help of the European Union, Government of Tuvalu and other partners, the new solar PV system project on the island will really benefit the lives of the 600 villagers that live there. However, the limited space on the island raises another problem, a place to construct the solar panels. This is why the project designers had to construct the panel structures out at sea, which is about 30 meters from the main building. This was to ensure that the solar panels did not cause further land pressure on the small island. This is our existing generator room and at present this generator is feeding the power to this island and uh, this side you can see it's our new inverter room and the battery room so we call this uh, as our new power house so once uh, we're going to complete the system these generators will gonna shut down and this island will gonna get the power from these inverters. Once the project is completed, the need to continuously rely on diesel generators and intermittent power supply will be a thing of the past. And with the solar PV system's 24-hour power supply, this will surely be a boost and a milestone for the community. For 78-year-old Talama Tafaki, it's a transition he cannot wait to see. Yeah, <laughs> The island of Nui is situated 242 kilometers north of Funafuti, the capital of Tuvalu. The island has a population of about 500 people and is one of the most distant of islands from the capital. Nui is one of the seven islands that rely solely on diesel generators for electricity. Diesel has to be shipped from Funafuti on government vessels or chartered boats. With the rising sea level and rough seas, transporting diesel by boat can be a daunting task. The island has a fully equipped hospital with its staff. However, power seems to be the main problem on the island, and its intermittent supply can sometimes compromise the lives of patients. Uh, the power, mostly the main power, is very important for me, uh, especially for the clinic, because uh, during night time when people are coming in for, for deliveries and also for any problems, at night, the power will 
goes up at any time. And uh, I, we're really desperate. We really need a power that is continuous, not intermittent. Like uh, what is happening now, our power just turned off now. So, um, like if someone comes in with a um, broken leg or an emergency at this time and we really need, or especially asthmatic, that we have to turn on our mental nebulizer, we really have to go and ask those people to turn on the power from that side. We use our, our backup generator when there is an emergency or delivery at night and uh, it's very hard because we have to go right to the other side of the village and ask the person who is, um, who is working for this uh, power generator to come and turn it on. And uh, it takes time when there is uh, no light and I have to go right to the other side of the village and ask him to come and turn on the power. Fortunately, with the help of the European Union, Government of Tuvalu and other partners, life on the island is about to change. This is with the new solar PV system currently being constructed on the island, a power system that will ensure a more secure, clean and reliable power source. As you can see, this uh, trench that has been uh, dug right now will be carrying the electrical uh, cables from this uh, solar array right till the uh, PV inverters, which is mounted in the, the building. And uh, there are six uh, inverters there, and we have uh, five structures here, five structures. So each will be carrying will be connected to one of the inverters and uh, there is another one on the roof which will be connected to the last inverter which is the sixth one. So this, all these cables from this uh, solar array will be buried right in this trench and uh, which will be protected with the conduit pipe, orange conduit pipe and uh, to protect it from any mechanical or any kind of uh, damage to the cables. Now, with the project nearing completion, life on the island will be more convenient, easy and productive, and most importantly, safe for patients. I want to thank the sponsors and donors of this project. Uh, this project will ensure the lives of the community here on Noi Island to be safe and productive way of living. The shops will now have their normal supplies of power to keep their goods. The hospital will run smoothly, so I believe it's a good project by the sponsors. Thank you. As the sun sets in Nui, the villagers are just counting down the days to the opening of this new, clean, reliable and 24-hour power system. Because the islands are remotely accessible, there has to be a plan to make sure that the new PV solar system is sustainable. With advice and help from the current power provider Tech, a solution was found. Yeah, for the uh, long term uh, sustainability of the project for, for the free sites, uh, we have built a uh, what we call a demonstration house. There has to be a model set up of the same PV system so personnel from the outer islands can be trained to maintain and service these systems. And this was constructed at the tech site in Funafuti. Yeah, for this setup is uh, just one cluster of what is in the islands, on the three islands. So, as you see that there's only one, it's two battery banks and then with the uh, uh, Sunny Islands and Dry uh, Power is all SMA uh, systems. The purpose for this setup, this setup is uh, for training of our boys in a uh, uh, hybrid diesel power system. On the global scale, Tuvalu contributes only a tiny amount of greenhouse gas emissions, 
But like other low-lying atoll nations, the country stands to be gravely affected by changing weather patterns and rising sea levels. Actually, this project will, will benefit the uh, utility uh, plus the environment. Yeah, that's what we have been targeting for now. Tuvalu is one of many Pacific Island countries and territories that are walking the talk and leading by example by switching to environmentally friendly and sustainable electricity generation. It is hoped that the example being set in the Pacific Island region will prove to other areas of the world that it can be done. So, friends, uh, I think just to acknowledge the financial assistance from all the donors towards this project, particular the EU, European Union Commission, and also uh, SPREP in Samoa through PICAREP and uh, New Zealand uh, through uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade, and also Finland, the government of Finland for providing the co-financing towards this project, and also, of course, lastly, the government of Tuvalu providing financial assistance, it's also co-financing for towards this uh, project. On completion of the project in early 2015, the three specialized solar power installations will meet 60% of the electricity demands of Nukufetau, Nui and Nukulailai, saving an estimated 120,000 kilograms of carbon dioxide emissions annually. These outcomes will, in turn, support the stated goal of the government of Tuvalu to convert all diesel power generation to 100% renewable energy by the year 2020. Well, that's what the, the government's goal for, the, for 2020. Tuvalu will be 100% uh, renewable. So it. Uh, in the meantime, we are trying also to work on our energy efficiency pro program. Plus, this uh, this program of trying to put solar on all the islands. After visiting the islands and speaking with the local communities about the hardships that they face, the PIGAREP team concluded that 24-hour solar power is going to bring about a better future for all.